mastitis. Mastitis is an acute inflammation of the intralobular connective tissue within the mammary gland. Incidence is 2 to uh, 33% and 1 to 2% in US and most common in second and third week postpartum. Present with systemic illness, chills, myalgia, fever, and tender, hot, swollen, wedge shaped erythematous area of the breast, usually on one side. So it can uh, have fullness, bilateral, ho heavy, hard, and no redness, engorgement, bilaterally tender, plus minus fever, minimal diffuse erythema, blocked duct, painful lump with overlying lying erythema, no fever, feel when. Well, particularly the rectal seal is a smooth, round swelling, abscess. Abscess is a tender, hard mass that fluctuates with skin erythema and induration. Inflammatory carcinoma could be unilateral, diffuse, and recurrent erythema and induration. Causes milk status, stasis, stagnant milk, increases pressure in the breast, leading to the leakage in surrounding breast tissue. Milk itself causes inflammatory response plus infection. There are three group milk stasis, uh, non-infectious inflammation and infectious. Randomized treatment, uh, systemic emptying and infectious group should be treated with systemic em emptying and inter intervention. Predisposing factor imp uh, is important, uh, improper nursing and oversupply and pressure. nipple fissuring a primary priority previous history of mastitis maternal and neonatal illness maternal stress and trauma and genetic factors are important microbiology shows normal skin flora contamination and uh, and recurrent mastitis could lead to multiple cultures, which include staph aureus, coagulative neg negative staph, group A and B, beta hemolytic streptococcus, E. coli, hemophilus, influenza, MRSA, fungal infection, TB, were endemic. Fungal infections uh, are, are common and could result in a cryptogenic infection. Most common is Candida albicans. Treatment is supportive, continue with the feeding, and antibiotics can be given according to culture and sensitivity. Dicloxus and erythromycin are important antibiotics, and vancomycin can also be offered. Could lead to abscess formation, which can occur in 5 to 11 percent of mastitis cases, no difference between the groups by the age of parity. Duration of the symptoms only independent variable favoring the abscess development. Could lead to distortion and chronic inflammation. Granulomatous mastitis is a non caseating granuloma in a lobular distribution. Differential diagnosis include TB mastitis, foreign body fat necrosis, autoimmune could be sarcoid, erythema nodosum, polyarthritis presentation, unilateral lump and can present uh, with identified no infection can be identified at the presentation it can mimic a breast ca and clinical and radiological and cytological exam and diagnosed by proper histology and treatment is antibiotic corticosteroid and excisional biopsy neonatal mastitis is common in five weeks of age girls outnumber the boys Etiology is staph aureus and treatment is prompt antibiotic. Immune factor IgA is predominant and uh, it has a protective role. Increased immune factors, both plasma and local epithelial cells. No adverse event documented in feeds. Poor good documentation and likely related to the poor milk production. And there is some interest in the pediatric vaccination development. Thank you.